Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to talk about activating developer tools on an iPhone without a MacBook. Usually you need Xcode on a MacBook to enable developer tools, but if you're unable to get an OS X VM or you don't have a MacBook available, this can be quite tricky. My approach in this video is to use a library called libi mobile device. You can install this library on a Linux machine and then run a command to enable developer tools. Using this command is a fairly straightforward process, but the installation for the lib iMobile device library is unfortunately not that simple. Although libiMobile device is available to install from the Ubuntu package manager, this version is outdated and does not let you connect to the iPhone. What you need to do is compile and install the library and its dependencies from the source code available on GitHub. Before installing any of the dependencies, if this is a brand new version of Ubuntu and it's something that you haven't really used before, there are two things I recommend you do before installing anything. The first is to run sudo app-get update and the second is to install the developer version of Python. Now we can navigate to the GitHub page of libimobile-device and start installing the dependencies we need to use this library. The first dependency we'll install is the libplis dependency. Scroll down in the readme and follow the installation instructions over here. First we install the dependencies for this library. And then we can clone the repository. Now that the repository has been cloned, we can finally follow the build and install instructions. After installing libplis, the next dependency we want to install is the libimobile-device-glue repository. Once again, scrolling down the readme, we can follow the installation instructions. First, download the dependencies. And in here, we can get rid of libplis since we already installed that one using the GitHub repo. And then we can clone the repository, making sure you're back in the root directory. And finally, we can build and install it. Now that libimobile-device-glue has been installed, the next dependency we want to install is libusbmuxd. Scrolling down again to the build and install instructions over here, we first do the dependencies. And this time we get rid of the libimobile-device-glue dependency since we don't need it. We can also get rid of libplist, though this doesn't make much of a difference. And that will install libusb and muxd's dependencies. Now we can clone the GitHub repository and then we can follow the build and install instructions. At this stage, we have installed the main dependencies for libimobile-device, and all that we have left to install is the libimobile-device repository on GitHub. However, before we can install this repository, we need to install OpenSSL. We need a version greater than 1.1.0, so this is the version that I will be installing. Unzip this. And then we can open a terminal over here. The next thing to do is to follow the build and install instructions on their GitHub page. They have a file called install and looking at this file, we see the commands that we need to enter. So entering these commands. use dot slash config and not dot slash configure and then we can see it successfully configured now we write make the make command might take a while but once that's done all that's left to do is sudo make install now that all the dependencies are installed we can move on to just downloading libi mobile device following these instructions once again this time being aware of which dependencies we're using We 
can see here we don't need libimobiledevice-glue we don't need libuspmuxd and we don't need liblist we also likely don't need libssl-dev the repository then build and install it after installing the lib i mobile device library we still need to install one last dependency this one is usb mux d again do this Making sure we remove all the dependencies we've already installed. And we can clone the repository. And then we can build and install it. Now that libi mobile device has been installed, you should be able to run the iDevice info command to see output from your connected iPhone. If for whatever reason this command doesn't work, you should enter the command sudo ldconfig and that will fix any installation errors you had in the previous dependencies. So now if I run iDevice info, I can see that my iPhone is being read by Ubuntu in libi mobile device. And now I'll be able to enable developer tools on the iPhone. If I just send the command i device dev mode ctl enable, that should enable developer tools on the iPhone. After performing this command, you should see the iPhone reboot and once it opens, you'll see a dialog that asks you to turn on developer mode. Once you turn on this mode, you should go into settings, privacy and security and if you scroll all the way down, you should see something called developer options. Once you click this, you should see a slider that enables or disables developer mode. If this is enabled, that means you were successful in enabling developer mode on your iPhone. You can also check using libi, you can also check using libi mobile device by entering the command i device dev mode ctl confirm.